Eastern Division showdown between the New York Mets and Vince Velasquez gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? You know, Matt, he wasn't all that Leading bad in his last one. Man. In a day and age where we don't right see field. a lot of complete Broad games, game. six Season. full innings in his last one. And if they can score him a few runs, he has a chance Seven to win this five. one here today. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, here fellas, on. they've been in a nice little groove of winning three of their last four games. Hey, Matt, Evie, we're taking a look at a team right here, d row Through five games of this homestand, they're three and two. I know they were expecting more, but they'd like to win this one here today and get that up to four and two on this homestand. Yeah, this is an important one right here. You don't want to go 500 first six games, especially at home. On the road, you can deal with it. At home, this is a must win. Now a swing and a miss on the slider as the leadoff man is set down on strikes to open up the ball game. Second. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, you better keep an eye on Robinson Cano as this game moves along. He hit over 350 last month. Just consistent at bats all throughout the month. He was tough to pitch to. Hitting good pitching and hit poor pitching as well. We'll see if he stays hot here. Stepping in, Jed Lowry. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Lowry playing here in his age 34 season. Certainly a versatile middle infielder playing shortstop today despite being a second baseman naturally. Yeah he's a premium defender. It doesn't matter. Anything that's in his vicinity right or left of him five steps either way is getting vacuumed up. So they trust this guy's glove in a premium spot no matter where he's playing. Sliced hard down the left field line and that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. The throw into second but he'll be in there with a double. Man that's always tough. He was a strike away from striking out two in a row but he got a little careless and caught too much of the plate there. It gets ripped for a one out extra base hit and he's got some work to do now to get out of this one. And that's in there base hit. And they won't risk it at third so they're at the corners now with only one away. Hey there's another base the knock right there. A hitting streak now 20. up to eight games. Yeah no doubt about well, eight games. Now nah, man we're starting to think about it a little bit. You know you get past that week you just know you're locked in. They start talking eight games now you're like all right I got a nice little hitting streak. Going. Here's a late swing and a miss strike two. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute to hope to either get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this. Got good. him to miss the breaking the ball field. there. Number Peter Alonso goes down for Yohannes. out number two in the top half. Here's Yuanis Cespedes. We show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. From the stretch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Runners on first and third, two away. To the left side, but it's well fouled. The 0 2. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Two left for the Mets. It's the Mets zero. Phillies coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Noah Syndergaard will do the pitching in game three of the series. What's your take on him Dan. Hey Matt this guy's been throwing the ball really well. He picked up his 10th win of the year in his last one and he'd like nothing more than to make it two good runs in a row and pick up his win number 11 today. Fellas these Mets as they enter play here tonight they come off another loss last time out and in fact they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah Matty you can't win when, when you're giving up that many runs. The pitcher was missing over the harder plate not executing yeah, down and away. Not brushing back anybody, making anyone feel uncomfortable. Guys were taking huge hacks off him. And to boot, the defense was on its heels. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. With that, a look at the Phillies' batting order in this one. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? 
Well, definitely oh, watch out good. for Corey Dickerson. He's really excelled against right-handed pitching this season, hitting over 300 against them coming in. So given the matchup he's faced with here, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see him make some noise at the plate. Stepping into the box, Cesar Hernandez comes into this one with just one hit in nine tries for the series. First pitch of the at bat. This is lined to left, but this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out. Well, we've mentioned the conditions aren't ideal with the rain coming down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. And now Bryce Harper, career numbers versus Syndergaard. He carries a 345 batting average. He's taken him deep once. The wind up and the 0 1. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Syndergaard playing here in his age 26 season. He was a first round pick back in the 2010 first year player draft. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Bouncer to the left side. And a close play at first, but he's pulled out and the side is retired. Phillies down. Back in Philadelphia for the second, and Heidi Watney has an update for us on the weather forecast. Well, Matt, there is precipitation in the forecast, but talking with some of the grounds crew here before the game, they said they don't think it will have a significant impact as we move forward. We can't expect a light sprinkle, but there shouldn't be any stoppages in play. Okay, thank you, Heidi. We'll hope that's true. And guys, what's the toughest thing about playing in damp conditions like this? I'm going to be honest with you, Maddie. If it stays like this, not a problem. It's just a nuisance. Yeah, the ball might be a little damp throwing it across the first base. Might have to gather yourself a little bit more, but this weather won't affect anything. So the first will be in time, and there's one gone done. here to start the second. Time to take a look at the Philly D. And today my spotlight's going to shine down on Cesar Hernandez, second baseman who can really turn the double play. He's got super quick feet, great reaction time. Guys love working with him up the shoot. Here comes the first pitch. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Hey, that's a well-executed pitch right there. That might have started middle, but you saw it breaking away to that outer part of the zone. This left-handed batter right here has got two decisions to make. Is he going to ground out to second base all day, or is he going to drive the ball the other way? In there, and it's 0-2 now. Got him looking with the fastball as that had some two seam movement to it. Two gone. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that the was pretty impressive, Matt. 12. I really like a pitcher One. that trusts and works Look off hard. his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go Gretz bench. Here's Juan Ligares. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Here's the 0 1. Hit to short. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Infielders are taught from the time us. they hold the glove that the you've got to play Go the on. ball and not Sitter let ball. the ball play you. You can see here that this one just ate him up and he couldn't recover in time. Stepping in now, Noah Syndergaard. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one.
Lagares is off of first with two away. The 1-0. Line drive to center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now batting. The right fielder. Rajay Davis. Here's Rajay Davis now. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. No score here as we play inning number two. And now Davis swings and misses on a good pitch there as he falls behind 0 and 2 now. Popped up. Hoskins has a play and the inning is over. Two left for the Mets. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Billy? Career numbers the versus Syndergaard. He brings three. a more than respectable 357 Hoskins. batting average. Two of those hits were for home runs. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Here and that one swung on and missed 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Hoskins, a California born ball player. He was a fifth round pick during the 2014 draft. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first that out of the fit. inning. Here's the defensive no alignment for the New York Story. Metropolitans. Dickerson. And let's focus on Wilson Ramos. He's an absolute brick wall behind the plate, and if you miss middle over the heart of the plate, he could turn it around with a three-run bomb. And the Phillies have their first hit of the ball game. Batting fifth, the catcher, JT Real Muto. Now batting, JT Real Muto. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. First pitch on its way. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Bare handed for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. Into the box, Jed Lowry. As we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. In there at the knees as he authors a strike to the leadoff man, nothing in one. Hit on the ground to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And a great job to stick with it here as he gets the first out of the inning. Well, the if you're going to bobble the ball, you have to hope it's when a guy is lumbering down the base pass. He's no speedster, so that was a good job to stay calm and make the recovery throw. No balls and a strike to count. The 0 1 on its way. Mm, got him out on his front foot. It's 0 and 2. Third inning, no score to this point. Fouled off wide at first, but boy, that had some zip on it. The 0-2 once more. Line to the right side, but he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Now batted, number 20. Digging in, Peter Alonzo. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Way late on the fastball for strike one. Oh, that hit him. Let's hope he's okay. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. 
And with that play over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg. And that is his plant leg, which is always a concern. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Well, that was a big two-out single we just saw, and for pretty obvious reasons, the inning went from totally under control to now. He's got to deal with some dangerous hitters here with a runner on base, and this is how two-out rallies start. Cespedes behind a ball and two strikes. Hit down the third baseline. Franco has it. And the off balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Met strand one. Home half of the third coming up. No score. We're back as the Phillies lineup readies for their third turn with the bats. And unfortunately for them, this club has had its issues on offense. It's no secret scoring runs has been a major issue as they rank last in the league in that category. But getting runners on base has been just as big of a problem. Their on-base percentage is the lowest in the league. One player told me earlier, we certainly have a lot of work to do. It's frustrating for everyone involved, but results aren't going to come from being frustrated. Every one of us needs to reevaluate our game Waiting and look for ways to start having better overall at bats. Matt, back to you. Andrew. Thank you, Heidi. First offering on its way. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. Not too often do you see a changeup come across at 88 miles an hour on the gun. Still effective when you're no one two now. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. After it is Cespedes. He's not going to get to it, so the leadoff guy's aboard with a base hit. Hey, that's nice execution Batting right there. In. Swung through the, the first baseman. slider, got it Mike again, down. stayed tall, Rump kept go. his hands back, didn't try and do too much, and delivered a nice base hit. Striding in, Michael Franco. And he's looking to snap out of what's been a rather dry spell at the plate. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Davis grabs it cleanly. The second, there's Cano. On the first, and it's another double play. Already two of them here in the first three that innings so far. The pitcher. Hit. Throws. Let's go. Striding into the box, Vince Velasquez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the first pitch to him. Line toward the gap in left center. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. So the two out hit here brings up Gene Segura. Hey, pretty good swing right there by the pitcher. I know he'll be telling his boys in the two. dugout to Short take stop. some hitting lessons from him if he's going to square line drives up. Oh, oh. Gene Segura standing in. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here comes the 0 1. But there to take it in is a well positioned Lowry, and the inning is over. Philly strand one will head to the fourth, still scoreless. Stepping into the box, J.D. Davis. He's Leading over one after grounding out in his only play. trip to the plate so far. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. There is Franco. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. The batter, number 24, second baseman, Robinson. 
So the bases are empty with one man gone. And set to stand in the fine second baseman Robinson Cano. Check swing grounder to the right side. Oh and he can't come up with it. Jeez, this looked like now a routine that's grounder that's that that's just got away from him. Wrong. Every school kid knows that look you've got to look it all the way into the glove. He didn't, and now they've got to deal with a one-out base runner. Here's Juan Ligaris now. He's got a base hit tonight. And that is down, as that could be two bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers now are that, not where he wants them to be so far so, uh, this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. In now, Noah Sindergaard. Yes, nope. he'll take a look at ball one. One for one after a single his first time up. Blowing away as he misses again, 2-0. And this guy can hit a little bit too, so you just can't lay one in there 2 0. Two balls and a strike. This is a situation where the offensive player just needs to do his job. Take inventory, infield back, get you a ground ball somewhere in the infield, preferably off the corners, and get your team to lead. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The Up best ones the have that late action the that right just field. starts at the last Not minute. Day. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Into the box, Rajay Davis. Strike one to start the at-bat. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. 1-1 one and one to the Mets' leadoff hitter. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. McCutcheon is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Two left for the Mets. On to the bottom of the fourth now still with no score. Coming to the plate now. Cesar go. Hernandez well, comes into this the at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Cesar Hernandez. First pitch of the at bat. Pulled toward right center field. Under it, Lagares, and there's one away. Now batting, right fielder. Opportunity now to look at some of the future plans for this Four Mets organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing very well in recent action. Digging in for his second at bat, Bryce Harper. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A.B. that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here, similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A.B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. drive and that's a base hit into center field. Hey this guy's been slumping at the plate saw his average base fall base below 240 17. prior to this at bat that Three. had to feel good. Hoskins. Into the box now Reese Hoskins now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. From the belt, the pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Softly hit out toward short. Oh, and he misses it. Chalk that one up as an E6, and he really can't believe it out there. Sorry. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Corey Dickerson. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. 
Grounded back up the middle. Barehanded for one. On to first. Man alive. What a double play. And the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia. Through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Mickey Calloway, the Mets skipper, about his lineup's performance so putting together. He said it's been a real team effort to focus on a line drive approach, and that is certainly evident in this game. Our stat guys tell me they've hit nine total line drives, and even though not all of them have resulted in base hits, those are the swings the team believes leads to a lot of success at the plate. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Dickerson he can't get to it that's a leadoff single so with that the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway yeah he's got the outs when he's needed him and seems to be really comfortable pitching from the stretch hard to keep that up over several innings though here's the catcher Wilson Ramos as he lifts it in the air to right field Harper has a read on it makes the play one away Now batter, number 20. So a runner at first with one man gone, and up steps the power bat of Peter Alonso. Your Mike Morin please. enters to make an appearance now on the mound the as he inherits a runner at first number with one out in the inning. Mike. First pitch of the at bat. Right. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. A ball and a strike to the Mets first baseman. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Peter Alonso becomes the second out here in inning number five. Fouled off. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. One and one the count now. Uh, ball and two strikes now. Lowry leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors. One man left on. Home half of the fifth coming up, and we still have no score. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Gabe Kapler during the commercial break about the Phillies offense. And one thing he stressed to me was the need for them to have better at bats when they've got runners on base. Already in this game, they've grounded into three double plays, which is leading to a lot of frustration in the dugout. The good news is they are getting runners on, so now they need to find ways to move those runners out. He told me, though, the key is to not dwell on it. They have to stay focused on simply having good at-bats and making good swings. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Hit the other way out toward right field. Chasing after it is Davis. He's there and records the first down. Now batter, the center fielder, Andrew. Here's Andrew Not McCutcheon touchdown. now. A base hit in his first trip. First offering on its way. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. That is such a tough pitch to lay off right there, but you have to find a way. There's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker except foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. Ah, and he's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0-2. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional he's mixed east and west really well and it's a big reason why he's had success a swing and a ground ball to third Davis has got it throw just in time and oh that was awfully close the third baseman number seven Michael Bronco 
So bases are empty here with two gone. And that means Michael Franco, the third baseman, will bat next. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. All bets are off for the offense right now. This guy's got a low pitch count. He's attacking the zone. They have to get more aggressive. This guy's not going anywhere. And it's quickly 0-2. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of any time you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. And he fouls this one off. No runs, four hits, and two errors so far on the Philadelphia line score. Another 0-2 coming. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at-bat going. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Ligares is under it, and that's the third out. Both teams battling the elements thus far, but we've got a tight game through five. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. So stepping in, J.D. Davis, third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First pitch of the at bat fouled away. High and deep to right center. Back goes Harper at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The batter, number 24, second baseman, Robinson Cano. Standing in, Robinson Cano, 0 for 2 for him to this point. No balls in one strike. Cano waiting on the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. Lifted the other way to left center. Dickerson's there. Two down. The center fielder, number 12, Juan Ligares. Now at the plate, Juan Ligares. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. He's set and the pitch. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. The 0 1 pitch. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Hey, this boy ain't messing around right now. Attacking the zone, showing a lot of confidence in his stuff. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three. We are still scoreless. Logan Morrison please. is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off number the bottom eight. of inning number six. Logan Morrison. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. Morrison drives the ball with the best of them when facing right-handed pitching like this, but there is some swing and miss in his game. Some would say it's a little bit of an all-or-nothing approach at times. I think in today's game you can live with it. The three true outcomes, home or strikeout or walk. Bottom line is when he does put the ball in play, he changes the scoreboard. The one-two. 
just hung in there on that one. The one two. Misses for the second ball. Swing and a miss got him reaching. He'll throw down to first, one away. The batter, number two, shortstop. One out for the Phils in their half of the sixth, and that'll bring in the middle infielder, Gene Segura. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hard ground ball to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And he will recover in time to get it over to first. Nicely done there as they record the second now out. The second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. Digging in the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit down the line at first. But this is foul for the first strike. The 0 1. And this will be fouled away. Oh and two here it comes. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side and Cano will make the catch to retire the side. Three up three down for Philadelphia still no score. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. Neither team denting the run column quite yet as we look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. Jake Arrieta is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start now inning number seven. Number 49. So striding in, Jake. Noah Syndergaard. He's one for two in the ball game. Not sure if this is a powerhouse pitching performance by both teams or bad hitting, but as we're moving late into this one, it's about time Here's somebody up. put something together to try to score a run. No balls and a strike to count. Down the third baseline, but this will get foul for strike two. Ready with the 0-2. He turns on it and sends it deep down the line in right. But that'll be off the right field wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Wow, he was willing that thing to get out of here. Would have given them the lead right here late in the game. But it ends up hitting off the wall, and he heads into second with an extra base hit. We'll see if the next man up can come through with a clutch here. So the lineup flips over and digging in Rajay Davis been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. First offering on its way and he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. And oh, he definitely broke the plane there as he went after the pitch inside, and it's strike two. This one's down to third. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. Well, we've been treated to a neck and neck game so far, and the last thing anybody wants is for a misplayed ball to be the difference. But that's where we're at right now as the error leads to the go ahead run. Hit hard on the ground to second. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. The catcher, number 40, Wilson. At the plate, Wilson Ramos. His history with Jake Arrieta. Batting 500, four for eight. Strike one to start the at-bat. You know, you look at this hitter. He doesn't care about being down 0-1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the heart of the plate. Two balls and a strike. 
Well, it's 2-1 and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at-bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The batter, number 20. Up next will be the power bat of Peter Alonzo. He's working here to bring home that very important insurance run standing at third. That's a really nice thing about pitching with the base open. You can work out of the strike zone a little bit more and try to get a guy to chase your pitch just like that one. Looking to keep this a one run game the pitch and he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. Bottom of the seventh now get up and stretch here in Philly. The Mets lead it one to nothing. Here's Bryce Harper now. A hit in two tries so far. This thing's far from over even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down Harper. by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And he'll get to the bag in time. What a do-it-yourself masterpiece. Boy, I'll tell you, the defense has been stellar all night long. They've got the shutout working and there's another super play to rob them of a hit. Standing in now, Reese Hoskins. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. No hits to this point. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0 2 now. Well, he got the leadoff guy in the inning on a ground out, and now he's 0 2 to start this at bat. He looks really sharp so far to start the seventh. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. That's not an at-bat he's going to look back on and be happy about. No Obviously, the strikeout result 31. isn't good, but to Corey. go down on three pitches, and Dickerson. none of which were even in the strike zone, as you see. Corey Dickerson. Line drive, snagged on a short hop. And the throw just yeah. does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Phillies down in order. It remains 1-0. Now in the box, Yoenis lead Cespedes. Off He'll lead it off against Jake Arrieta. You know, Madden, every team has that one guy, and Yoenis Cespedes is that guy for the Mets. Completely changes that complexion of that Max betting order. Swing and a miss, one and one. To one and two now. And there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. A look at our line score thus far. The now Mets have come to Philadelphia the and they lead the Phils Davis. here in the eighth. Davis. Stepping up to the plate, J.D. Davis. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here's a fly ball well hit. After it is McCutcheon. But he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he's in there at third with a one out triple. Of course they feel good about the triple but I know batter, how managers thinking he's in the base. dugout wishing that triple Robinson. would have come when some guys were on base. They've left a lot of guys out there in this one. We'll see if his teammate can bring him home. Hey. Here comes the second baseman Robinson Cano. No balls in one strike. The 0 1 pitch. Tried to get him to go after the slider but it's one and one. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. The one two. And this will be fouled away. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. Right down Main Street, caught him looking.
now batter. The center fielder. One. Now at the plate, Juan Lagares. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Zach Eflin please. enters the ball game out of now the pen looking for the, the final out here in the top number of inning 56. number eight. Zach. Eflin. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Comes set. The 0 1. And that misses 1 and 1. Late swing there at the breaking ball. Must have been looking for something else. A 1 2 pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. After it is McCutcheon. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Mets leave one, but they hold a 1 nothing lead. So striding forward now, JT Realmuto. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Coming to the plate now, Andrew McCutcheon. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. First pitch on its way. Uh, couldn't quite hold back that time as the changeup fooled him for strike one. Now here's the pitch. Well, I had him reaching a thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0 and 2. Ugly swing right there. That pitch wasn't even close. And he offered at it. I'm not sure right now if I'm the pitcher. You could probably throw anything you want up there, and this guy's going to swing at it. Line toward the alley in left center. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And there's your tying run at second base with a one out double. The third baseman, number Finally, seven. a little something for them to get Mike excited Hill. about. Yeah, a rally Rocco. can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. So next to the plate for the Phils, Michael Franco. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one they've had runners on base but haven't been able to string anything together grounder down the line at third but a foul ball here 0 and 1 McCutcheon a runner at second with one away and boy was he ever fooled on that pitch it's 0 and 2 now Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night, working that outer half of the plate. That's why he's having so much success. Looking for the K, here's the pitch. And a little tapper here in front of the mound as this may work as a sacrifice. And that's the second out. Number 73 will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 73. Hit to third. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Philly strand one. They trail this one one to nothing.
Jeff McNeil will try to get his club a little ninth inning insurance as he'll grab a bat to pinch hit leading things off here. Aaron Nola enters from the pen to start the ninth Number inning as he'll try to keep the score Aaron. right where it is heading to the bottom Nola. of the ninth. Ninth Aaron. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. They'll come into play here at 319. 11 home runs nope. and 32 oh. driven in. Now the one and one pitch. Is taken for strike two. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first down here in the ninth. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Rajay Davis comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. This is part of what makes him one of the best pitchers in the game. He pounds strikes, and his stuff is really tough to make contact with. And when you fall behind 0-2, good luck. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No the problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start yeah. this inning. That's back-to-back -back wow. K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Lifted down the line and left, and this will wind up a foul ball. High fly ball out to straightaway center. McCutcheon has a read on it, and that's the third out. Down in order go the Mets, but they lead it one to nothing. Jerry Spamilia enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Gene Segura. Again, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at-bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching. But the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Swing on and miss. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Riding in once again, now Cesar back. Hernandez. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Hernandez. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Tried to golf at it, but he All missed one. strike one. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitter's meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. Davis is there and folks are starting to head for the exits now. Two gone here in the, the ninth. Right fielder. Boy, talk three. about hitting into some right. rough luck. That was an Harper. absolute bullet to the outfield that gets caught and he would have represented a tying run. Into the box Bryce Harper now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to first is going to be in time to get him. And the Mets are back in the win column again as they take game three of the series and the ball game is over. The final line score.